Welcome back to Let's Build Hogwarts, part 83. And today we are going to finish the exterior of Ravenclaw Tower. And for that we just need to put in our windows. So let's get straight into this and get our materials. For the windows we're going to need some glass panes and some andesite wall. And that's it for the rest of Ravenclaw Tower. The exterior anyway, because we almost finished it last time, didn't we? It was just the windows, but I ran out of time. So the best part with these windows is that every wall is the same, I think. I will have to double check, but I clearly said yes, every wall seems to be the same. Okay, so, oops, wrong buttons. The top bit is done. Is there any windows up there? Oh, there are. Okay, so we're going to need some Scion Terracotta as well. And then we'll come down and we'll start doing the interior of the entrance hall, which we might get done today with, with some luck. Okie dokie. So first for the first lot of windows, it's two down, two in. Nice and easy. So we're going to go two across, one, two, and then two down, and knock out three. So you've got two above it and two at the side and it's a space of three windows. I'm just going to take the sound down because it does get rather annoying that sound doesn't it. Okay so that's one lot done and we're going to come down two and punch out another three. Down two and punch out another three. And you should hopefully have one left at the bottom. Yep. Same on this side. Two across, two down. Like a crossword puzzle. One, two, three, two down. Oh, that's not right, is it? Aha. Okay, so you're going to need some stone bricks. For when you poke out the wrong ones. That's better. And then we're going to come back up to the top. We're going to follow this line across and we're going to go across one, two, three, five. So we want a space of five. So we've got one, two, three, four, and five, and punch out three there. And then another three, and another three. So that's a three by three square. Same again. Once you've got the first ones in, it's a lot easier because you just need to leave a gap of two underneath. Okay, so we're going to put walls up in the middle of these. Like so. And then fill the rest with glass paint. Forget these. And that's one side done. So same again on this side. 
we'll start it from a top corner because it's a little bit easier but you just line it up two above two at the side space of two point gl3 same over here two across two down And then a space of five, so it's one, two, three, four, five, and three by three. And a side wall, whoops. So, and then fill in your windows. Like so. Going to use fast forward for the other two sides because they are the same, it's all identical. Two in, two down, punch out three. Space of two, punch out three. Okay, so I'm going to carry on with these two sides and we're going to fast forward. So I shall see you in a mo. Check I've done that right. The recession I have. Okay, now there's just a couple more windows to put in. We're going to go back to this bit down here and we're going to put in two more. Okay, so we're going to go to the side and down. We're going to line them up with this one here. We're going to go one below the wall and punch out three. So it's two on that side but one under there because we've got the ball. There's actually a total of three between that and we're going to do the same on this side. And we're going to do the same here. So it's one above that one and two at the side. Oops, too many. Okay, and that's the exterior of, no it's not, we've got the windows at the top. It's almost the exterior. <laughs> okay, so where do I put the windows at the top? Right, so they go one above. So we've got our nice big fancy window. We've got the tier above that. We're not going to put one there, but we are going to put one here. Smack bang in the middle. Like so. If you're not happy with the panes, you can put blocks. 
and we put in another one. So we leave a space of one tier and then we knock out three more on the others. We'll do the same on this side. Keep to the same sides in the middle. Should have a nice middle with these. Oops, this one to do up here. And there's it done. See, that didn't take too long. Not as long as some of the other windows have taken. I think the windows to the quad took us an entire hour just for them, if I remember correctly. Those were a pain, weren't they? Okay, so that's the exterior of Ravenclaw Tower now done. So we're going to move on to the inside before we add more building on. And we're going to focus on the um, inside the entrance hall. I'm just double checking things. Quartz. We need lots of quartz. Why is it so dark in here? Okay. And that one. Okay. Right. So let's make our way down. Ooh, after we've gotten dizzy. Inside. So we've got some work to start doing on the inside of this place now. Right, so we're going to get some night vision potions so that we can see clearly what we are doing. Uh, we're done with the glass. And with the andesite wall and with the scion, probably not the stone brick. So we can get rid of those two. So if we're going to want some... Is that light or dark? Oops. We want some grey wool, the darker stuff, ideally, and we want some black wool. So grey wool, black wool. We're also going to want quite a range of quartz. So we're going to want the smooth quartz stairs, the smooth quartz slab, and we want the quartz bricks. We're also going to want some campfires, and some iron bars. There will be more, not much more, but there will be more. So first things, let's get some light. There we go, we can see. So first things first, we've got a big job to do. We are going to replace the floor with grey wool. There we 
we're going to have to fix that later. So all of the floor is grey wall, all through here, all through here, all the way down to. No, we'll go down to back here. We'll have to fix some of it later. But we'll sort that out later. So it's easier for now to just do the whole floor, replace the whole floor with grey wool. Okay, so straightforward this one. I shall see you in a few because we're going to certainly fast forward this one. to go from the windows I think because we'll start from the windows anyway so we are in the middle here okay we'll get to that so we're going to the windows and we're going to start from the windows I'm just going to take the last block out and replace with black so it gives it all a nice black outline We'll have to put a door in there at some point. I'm going to go take it round the stairs. these bits so there's another staircase to go in over there so we will put this around that staircase okay what's that um, I think that can be black as well no black no but I think we'll We'll go for black because the door will go there, won't it? So take this as far as the windows. We'll sort the doors out later. So how many is there? Should be just one on that side. That is indeed. Right. Yeah. We're going to go tackle this fireplace and that, I think, first. Over here. So, just 
just going to take out the back row there oops and we're going to put in some stone or stone bricks no that's not stone oh that's not campfires is it right okay okay take out two rows something hard, something non-flammable. Now we're going to put the quartz bricks. Um, I don't go right to the end, do I? Oh, I do. Okay, that tower's different, that's why. Okay, the door's in a different place. Right. One, two, three in the corners there, and one, two, three in the corner there. Okay, join that across the top, put an extra row in there. So, and on those corners there. Do those have to? They don't do. Mm. Okay, I'm going to put two there, two there. I'm going to put a row in the back. Like so, stairs there. Stairs there. I think we're going to knock out another row and replace with stone bricks. Then we're going to knock out that back row. And we want some netherrack instead of campfires. Now, netherrack doesn't give off as much smoke. Uh, we're not using the campfires. So because we're using netherrack, we're going to need some flint and steel. Let's say we're done with the grey wall. Get it all up. And put iron bars at the front, which will hopefully protect your wall. You can put carpet down, but if you put carpet down, you can't put stuff on top of it. Some stairs. So we're going to go back to the bricks, the quartz bricks, and okay, we're going to grab some glass panes. Because what we're going to do is we're just going to shift that window ever so slightly. We don't have to match anyways, but that window's in our way. So I'm going to take one out there. Might have been why they were out in the first place. So now we can change them. One, two, three, four, and five. So it's one, two, three, four, and five. We're going to go stairs all the way around the bottom. And stairs across the top. A nice big fireplace. Okay, and 
that's in line with that, and that's in line with that. So we're going to go back down to the stairs here, two blocks away. One, two. Same over here, two blocks away. And we're going to put in as big a couch as you want. Oh, okay, we don't want to go any further than that wall. So we're going to line it up with that wall. Right, so how to get what I want here. not it. Yes it is. Now put a slab on top. It's a bit finicky because I want it to look a certain way and there's probably an easier way of doing this but I don't know what it is. Take out the bits underneath might need to dig yourself a hole. And then we're going to put, dig ourselves another hole. We'll fix it, we'll fix it. There's probably an easier way of doing that, but I don't know it. And there we have a floating table. Okay, so we want our grey wall back because I've just poked some holes in things. We want some flower pots. Uh, we're done with the black wall now. We want some, we'll go for spruce, spruce stairs. We'll keep the stone bricks, I'm likely to poke holes in things. And we want some end rods. And so we'll go for some flowers, we'll go for some red poppies. Oh no, red tulips, we'll go for some red tulips. Oh no, we want those back. Ah. Okay. Should hopefully be okay now. Right, where do we put these? Then? Okay, so we want the oak stairs upside down, there, there, and there. Then we're going to put iron bars on. And then an end rod on top of those. So there are candlestick lights. Let's fix that hole. So we're going to put one, so it's level with the fireplace, one there, one there, and we'll go for one there. And I think we're going to put in one more there, you know.
make it of on this side hmm okay I'm gonna put one on the other side of the door down here just three blocks high it is okay so I feel like there should be proper We've already started with those so I think we're going to continue with these. So we're going to put one outside Flitwick's choir room. We will put some on the back there, but we'll get to that bit in a moment because we're going to put the staircase in first. Okay. So same again. Can I knock that out? Um, I can. So we'll put one there. Oh, that lines up quite nicely. Okay, so what we're going to do now is we're just going to put some flower pots around. I'm going to put a couple on the edges of the couch there, like so. And put a couple in the table. This is like this is the real main entrance. <coughs> Excuse me. This is like a waiting room for people, isn't it? Not sure if it's wise to put flowers on top of a fireplace, and they might wilt. But ours don't, so ours look good. There we go, and we're about to find out if we've got enough light in here. Yeah, we could do with a bit more. But we'll sort that out later. So we want our night vision potion back. Uh, the eight minute one. Mm -mm -mm. What are we done with? We're done with the flower pots. And we're going to want some bookcases to finish that area off nicely. Uh, we can get rid of the flowers. going to do is we're just going to put a row of bookcases here where we can put our magazines our witch weekly that'll do and I think that's it for our waiting area. That's nice. Quite happy with that. So now the tricky bit. We're going to put in a big staircase here. It's going to go up in the middle. But we're going to be able to go underneath it and into the Ravenclaw Tower that way. And over in that way and over in that way. So it's going to be a little bit fiddly. Fun. <laughs> right what a start what a start so we've got our quartz bricks and our smooth quartz slab they're the main tools for this right i think okay so we've got two windows over there oh i've already counted that so it's five ten eleven blocks away from there Right, so we're going to move over to this window over here, our singular window, and we're going to come this way, 11 blocks. So we've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 
10, 11, and we're going to place a brick on the 12th block. And that's going to go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 high. Just 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. Yep, that's about right. If in doubt, double check. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Okay. I'm not going to do the height though because the height is going to change. So let's just do the width. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Double check. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Okay. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So we're going to come across nine blocks in total. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. We're then going to bring this forwards. One, two, three, four, five, and six blocks in total. One, two, three, four, five, and six. So it should look something like that at the moment. up six here, 11 there, across nine, and forwards six. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. So then we're gonna get our slabs. I'm gonna go in front of this one, and we're gonna go across seven. It's one, two, three, four, five, six, six and seven. I apologize if I'm going too fast. So it should just be a case of lining that up. Nope. To the end there. And that should also be six high. One, two, three, four, five, six. I'll double check it here. Might be a bit higher. One, two, three, four, five, yeah, six. Six is correct. Right. Right, and on. Let me double count that. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three. Right. Hoi, 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 hoi. Get rid of that. So there's six blocks there. We're then going to put a slab in front, but with a gap of one. So that, that way we can put one on the top there. Like so. Fill in another one underneath that. And another one underneath that. And another one to finish that off nicely. <laughs> right, okay, so that has to go there and that, doesn't it? So then quartz blocks and the bricks Wrong. Is 
that when I do that. Okay, and okay. Now that if this is correct, we should be able to come down into this corner, knock out four there have four left over there which we do have one above it okay yep 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 so that gets knocked out and that gets knocked out because the slabs go across till we meet the wall now So we've got a total of one, two, three, four after the stir. One, two, three, four, that's right. Okay, so we're looking somewhat like that. We're also going to knock out two down here as well. I'm going to focus on this side first. I'm going to hang over one block. So we've got one, two, three, four, five across. Let me double check that's right. It is. I like it when it works out well. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six stirs. Hopefully. We've got one, two, three, four, five, and six. So it's going up in six half a block of time so it's technically only three blocks that's going up fill in what you can with the bricks not that one and then fill in the slabs where you can to put the bricks It's going to be a slab too. And that will be a doorway into another classroom there. Okay, we're doing really well. We're doing quite well for time too. We have had quite a bit of fast forward, so it's hard to say for certain. Okay, now that bit's a little bit more tricky because we've got a wall that we've not yet put in. So we're going to put in a temporary wall. Well, it, hopefully it won't be temporary if we put it in the right place. So I'm going to go two blocks in. Okay, so we've got a gap of two blocks at the front there, and that goes all the way to the top and all the way across. Right, okay, so we're going to join this up here.
extend this out two blocks here. Yeah, we'll sort out behind and underneath the next time. <clears throat> okay, let's put in another row underneath there, like so. Right. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six in total again. So we've got one already. Oops. Two and three, four, five, and six. Hang it over one block. Join it up to the wall there. Like so, fill in our gaps. Use slabs where you can't use the bricks. And then over here. block underneath there. Oh it's not gonna let me get in it. Okay we're gonna have to go under and round. Where'd you go? There you are. Okay and that is a doorway there to another classroom. Right, so we've just got a few more little bits to do. What we're going to do is we're going to put some lights down here, like we've done over here. So we'll put some there and some there. can of course put lights above the doorways which will sort out in a moment. And that's our main staircase. Let's just check how we're doing for time. Oh, less than it. Oh, we're doing really well for time. Okay then. Right, what we're going to do then is we're going to grab our doors. So we want some spruce doors. I think we're done with that for now. We're going to want some armour stands. We're only going to put in one or two because too many of these cause lag. So we're going to want a helmet. Any one you want. Uh, we're going to keep the stone bricks. Chest plate. Uh, I think we're done with the slabs as well, and we're done with the quartz. We want some pants. No, they're not called pants, are they? Are they? No. Hmm. There we go. Leggings. Netherite leggings, not pants. And some netherite. I'm going to put a door over here back into Flitwick's. In fact, that might be better on the other side. Oh, there's a hole there. Okay, we're going to have to come back and fix that in a moment. Mm, okay, we need a bit more light over here, don't we? 
Okay, we'll sort that in a moment. We're going to put some armor stands there. Okay. So, we want some spruce stairs back because we haven't quite finished with those anyway. I want to make a bench. And we'll put some torches. Or shall we make those? I think we'll continue with those. So let's go for iron. Iron bars again. And the end rods. And some stone brick stairs. Hopefully that could be the last of it. So I think we're going to put one up there. That's better, isn't it? Oh, it doesn't quite look right actually. Place with the torch. Hmm. Okay. Fence. Bye. And a lantern. Given him his door back, yep. And we want a door over here. Right, I see. We'll put her there. I'm just going to have to fill that in a bit there. Put a door there. And a door there. Okay, almost done. We're just going to put a little bench over here. Sometimes you can put banners halfway in. <coughs> I haven't figured out how to do that. I keep trying and I never get it. So they look like cushions banner halfway down or something like that. I tried that last time, I couldn't figure it out. Okay, we're still a bit dark in here, aren't we? Okay, we're going to come back to that. Fat. We're done with all of this except for the stone brick. What we're going to do is, in your chat, put in forward slash Give light. Mm, okay, give yourself. So that would be Lady Camelot one. Would help if I could spell. Light bulb. Light block. These are a little bit glitchy at the moment for some bizarre reason. Okay, so we have used these before. We used them in the chess room. They work great on the inside of the Grand Staircase Tower as well, so you're not going to fill the place with torches. So you can either put a couple of plinths here, like I put our glowstone 
torches in or we can just put in one block like that and lighten it up we can't see it that's the glitch at the moment normally there would be a number you would see that light bulb there on that block and there'll be a number every time you click it the number goes up the brightness goes up and then it stops at 15 in which case it goes back to 1 so I think we'll probably leave it nice and there and that will probably do us actually we just need to light up that front bit so once you move off the light bulb the light bulb will disappear that's the glitch at the moment the glitch is, is that you can't see your light bulbs so Minecraft has been quite buggy lately for us certainly we're struggling to get onto our realms and once we're on there it takes forever to load up the rest of the space there and you can't move and it's been very very glitchy Minecraft has been lately so but I think that's our entrance hall done but these light bulbs are ideal if you don't want to end up throwing uh, torches or lanterns all over the place because it can ruin the effect sometimes especially on the grand staircase tower if you've got your pixel art there you don't want to put torches all over your pixel art just so you can see it so the light bulbs are ideal and anybody who has minecraft should be able to do that all you need is to access your, tech, your chat man menu and you put forward slash give yourself so put your own gamer tag in there and then put light block and it will give you a light block you must make sure that your inventory at the bottom here is empty or at least that there is one space because that's where it will go it will go straight into your main inventory at the front so you must make sure that you've got a slot there ready for it to go in otherwise it won't work right so don't worry we're not going to go too much onto these uh, command stuff we do have one command block later on uh, but again I will go through that step by step and once the glitch is fixed with these light bulbs I will go through the light bulbs again so you can see more clearly what's going on because it's hard to tell you when that you can't see it uh, but hopefully I've described it well enough that you can use it if you'd rather not then just put in say some cobblestone here and some cobblestone there put some glowstone and the oak trap doors around it um, I don't want to overdo the light in here so which is why I wanted to put the light bulb um, I think we might put another one over here so I'm going to put one there I'm going to keep tapping it I think that will do it nicely normally once you go back onto your light bulbs you should be able to see them again you can see where your light bulbs are and at what number they are on and then you can interact with them you can either make them brighter or turn them off or get rid of them the glitch at the moment you can't see where we've put them so i think it was there uh, possibly not see i can't interact with them now so it's some gray one also with some black one as well so because we can't interact with them, we can't change them once they're in. That's a current glitch. Hopefully it will be fixed fairly certain. Dewey. Hopefully it'll be fixed fairly soon. Not fairly certain. See, now I'm getting all my words mixed up. I do that a lot, but you probably know that by now. So what we're going to do is we're just going to finish going round. Oh... I knew he was going to do that. Going to have to put our armor stands back. Probably not going to put the armor stands and that back onto the screen. Oh, and our doors. We want our doors back. In fact, no. We're going to. Might as well while we're here. I'm making a mess now, aren't I? Uh, 
Okay, let's try that one again. So we want spruce doors. I'm not going to put these on screen because we've already done them. Hopefully you've not made the same, but you probably will make the same mistake I have because I've made the mistake too far on. Never mind. Palm stands. Oh, I already had a door. So we're going to go for netherite. So we're going to want the helmet, the pants, the top, and the boots. We want our door on this side. The armor stands back first. Okay, and the smooth quartz slab. Hopefully that glitch is not because of the armor stands. It's because my computer's getting warm. Okie dokie. It's supposed to be a good one, this one. Right. What's that up there? Here's the train. Bye. Whee. Any more? Where there's one, there's another one. Where are you hiding? There you are. Where's your friend? Has he already dived? And again, and again, and again. Hey! I want to push you off. survived. Stone bricks. Fix any holes that you've just made by playing with the trader. We're not finished playing with him now. Finish this floor up a bit. Right, so we need to sort this ceiling out, don't we? So we've got our stone brick stairs, we've got our stone brick. We're just going to grab a bit of glowstone because it's already there, and we're just going to throw some of that on the ceiling so that we can see what we're doing up there. Right. <laughs> we start one, two, three, four, five blocks up so on the sixth block. So what we're going to do is we're, uh, we're going to come over here, down here. We're going to count up five blocks. It's one, two, three. Four, five, on the sixth block. We we'll put an upside down stair all the way across, like so. And we're going to follow that all the way up. Easier to do it this way because I'm rubbish at this. Okay, 
let's just double check how many we need we should need one wait one two three four five should be five and we've already got two those okay right I see I see and okay fair enough right just double checking things Okay, so hopefully that would be four. One, two, three, four. Yes. Which means the last lot should connect to the ceiling or be on the ceiling level. This bit up here will be Ravenclaw common room. That wall gets taken out. Part of that wall gets taken out any house. But we'll sort that out later at the next one. So what we need to do is we just need to fill this gap in here. And the rest is to worry about at another time. You know what would go nice up there? A nice big chandelier. Did I think to put one on my walls? I did not. Fortunately, I'm running out of time. Chandelier. Okay, we don't need a big fancy one. We're going to go for some iron bars. This is brand new. This I've not even done this on my world. Okay. Um, and some lanterns. So where are we? We're not going to count. We're going to estimate. So that's going to come out like that. Whoops. So we're putting in a cross essentially and then we're making the cross bigger with each tier up
going to put a lantern each step down. Okay. Mm. No, it's probably overdoing it. Let's try it. I've overdone this a little bit, so we're going to bring this in a little bit. I'm going to knock the two off. What we can do is knock a couple off there. That looks better, doesn't it? Yeah, I like that. I'm happy with that. I like that now. Clean up our mess. And I think that's us done for today. Covered quite a bit, really. I didn't expect to get as far as we have. I didn't expect to get those stairs in anyway. So we have done the exterior of Ravenclaw Tower and we've done the interior of the entrance room so next week will be the interior of Ravenclaw Tower Cor correction <coughs> Friday will be the interior of Ravenclaw Tower because there will now be two tutorials a week we are no longer doing the live streams the live streams are no more unless like 300 of you just say oh, I want them I doubt that's going to happen though <laughs> Okay, so the live streams are no more, but there will now be two tutorials a week and they will be released on a Wednesday and a Friday. That's what people on the Discord, Potter's Nights, voted for. We put on a little bit of a vote and say, vote for the dates that you want them on and everybody decided Wednesday and Friday. So that's the days we're going for, Wednesday and Friday. That's what you wanted, that's what you're getting. So two tutorials a week from now on. So today hopefully is Wednesday and next time will be Friday where we will do the interior of Ravenclaw Tower. Okay, so we're looking pretty good. The Ravenclaw Tower I estimate will take at least two parts, maybe even three because we have uh, Ravenclaw common room to do, we have dormitories to do, we have Flitwick's office to do, Flitwick's personal rooms to do because we give them all personal rooms don't we? So there's quite a lot of interior when it comes to the Ravenclaw tower and there's quite a lot of space to work with as well so we'll be putting a big bathroom and stuff like that so the interior of Ravenclaw tower is probably going to take a good two parts if not three. And then we'll put the wings on the side because more classrooms will go in there and then it could be the long gallery good times lots to look forward to okay and that's it for me today come join us on our discord server potter's nights 
show us your bills, see what you've done. See, if you want to decorate things differently, you are more than welcome to. If you want to use different coloured carpets, do your couches in a different way, different lights, it's entirely up to you. We enjoy seeing people's bills and we enjoy seeing what differences people have done to their bills. So if you do something different, come show us. We like seeing it. Until then, guys, until next time, I'm going to have to say next time and not next week. Until next time, guys, take care of yourselves, like and subscribe.